we are back. Thank you so very much for staying with us. And in case you're just joining us, welcome to the program where the focus today is on clean, renewable energy. And we do have different experts right here in studio who are teaching us a lot more about how to use our biogas and also the power of solar when it comes to machinery in our farms. Na hapa kwa deskiangu ya biogas to meongezeka, the more the merrier. Sindio? Karibu sana, Mr. Daniel. Welcome to the program. Thank you. All right. So a lot of what we are conversing is being picked from what to meona wakulima uko inje wanafanya sawa. So again, our farmer that we have visited, alikuwa very categorical kusema hatutaki hii samadi ya ngombe ichanganyike na mkojo ya ngombe. All right. So how do you separate that? And also why is it very important to make sure that these two do not mix? Yeah, thank you very much. I think one of the things is that um, the urine itself has uh, a lot of uh, um, uh, nitrogen. So most of the time uh, when you actually mix the cow dung in the urine is the fact that the output and what you expect, yeah, you might be able to have very minimal methane. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's not really a big problem mm -hmm. based on our experience with the farmers mm -hmm. because the amount of urine and also when you are mixing, as you have been able to, sh to show here, is that you also add a lot of water. Mm. So I wouldn't say it's really a big, a big problem, mm -hmm. mostly because um, also a big percentage of the urine is water, mm -hmm. but also we are mixing with the water. Mm -hmm. So when we are dealing with small-scale farmers, we also advise them, we, we don't want to make them feel like we're adding a burden. Because remember, we're actually bringing a solution to the farmer, mm -hmm. and the farmer has so many things besides you know, mixing the dam. Mm -hmm. So we actually tell the farmers, uh, they just need to make sure that the amount of urine and the water they're actually putting is, is enough. But uh, from experience, we see systems working very well, even when the urine mix with, with the dung. Right. Yes. So, but it's not such a big... It's not a big deal, it's not really, a big deal. Not from our experience, because we actually see systems works well. And also, we need to, when you're actually bringing solution to farmers, you also need to bring something that works. Because mm. when you think about telling someone to separate urine from cow dung, mm. It's really tedious or almost a possibility. Right. So as a solution, as, as an organization company that brings solution, we actually work on making sure that the work for the farmer is easier. Mm. We train the farmer. The farmer needs to be trained. Mm. Um, and we make sure that they do the right thing. And we, we also provide them with after-sale service after they actually bought, uh, buy the technology mm -hmm. so they're able to use and enjoy the benefit of that technology. Right. Yes. I can see Kandi is nodding. Yeah. So Nikama, we're on the same page we're on that. on the same page. But the positive side also is when you have urine, mm -hmm. that means more nitrates when it comes to the fertilizer that you get from right. your Right. And you're adding more nitrates That's in correct. your farm because the urine has a lot of... Nitrogen. nitrogen. Yeah. Good. science Kadogo. You know, I want us to bring out the aspect of how the anaerobic decomposition works, mm -hmm. how we are breaking it down in a space of no oxygen to no biogas yetu, which you'll be explaining to us today on the program. Like any to fundish ratio. Unaeka ratio gani ya samadi ya ngombe, ya maji, wanasema one is to two, two is to four, or four is to eight, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, Daniel, start on that. Yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> I think um, we, have, uh, we have a standard ratio. So, again, it's based on many other aspects, uh, you know, the, 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 the texture and the nature of the dung. Mm -hmm. But as I said, we want to make farmers work easier. Mm -hmm. So we usually use a very simple ratio, which is one is to two, mm -hmm. which is one unit of dung to two units of water. Mm -hmm. The farmer must be able to mix uh, it very well, mm -hmm. as uh, the water also needs to be clean. Uh, the water needs to be very clean, mm -hmm. actually. We usually say it needs to be water that is not contaminated mm -hmm. because we are actually creating an environment for um, micro, 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 microbes mm -hmm. or microorganisms to thrive. Mm -hmm. So the, the water should be clean as well. Mm -hmm. um, and also the farmer should be able to mix as in a clean place and it actually been uh, advised by, by, you know, by the service provider. Mm -hmm. Uh, but ideally, in a clean place. Yes, yeah, ideally not really contaminated with mm. you know chemicals, because mm. also you, we are saying the microorganism. When you look at the the environment, as you have mentioned, mm. it's a natural process. Ah, where we have. Is it a clean place? Okay, as our expert. It's clean in the farmer in the farmer place. Uh. Yeah. Actually, we say I, I I had you. We really concerned about the farmer touching and everything. Mm. This is what the farmer does on a day to day. Yeah. Like to buy gloves. Definitely, yeah. yes. but this is what they do in terms of the, the waste, and also it's a very good way of actually managing that particular waste. Mm. Um, but the, when I mean clean, I mean not contaminated. Right. Yeah, because anything that is contaminated, whether it is water or the dung by itself, mm. can actually affect the performance of the, of the technology. Good. Yes. All right, thank you so much for that. Jackie, mara nyingi utenda kwa shamba ya mkulima, 
Unapata ndio yako na water pumps mahali lakini sasa zimerushwa huko kwa store zifanye kazi tena ili yaribika. Mm-hmm. All right? And it might not be where it's being manufactured from. It could probably come from some of the mistakes that we do as farmers in the farm that could lead to our machinery kutofanya kazi vizuri si ndio mm-hmm. so i want you to talk to us about makosa ambayo tunaweza fanya hapo kwa shamba hii inaweza fanya our solar powered water pump iache kufanya kazi ndio tujirekebishe kama wakulima si ndio as i walk close to you uh, so the first one is that uh, the water source sometimes is is very dirty like at the times when it rains and the and the river has you know too much silt and a bit of debris mm-hmm. that one can clog the pump Um, but most of the pumps also have a technology technology has advanced in that that is also able to be handled and there are other things like filters which are provided at the time of installation to make sure to make sure that it it it, it, uh, it that is not a problem mm-hmm. um, another problem is farmers sometimes want to keep moving the systems especially for the submersible pumps kuna zile submersible that you put inside the water source do we have them here yeah. So this is a submersible pump. Oh, hapa chini. Hii ni submersible liko ndani ya maji tayari. Right. Alafu pale kuna surface pump ambayo unaweka kando hauingizi ndani ya maji. So hii kama uko kwa you have your borehole eh, at home. Yes. You're the shallow one. Eh, so msema eh, lazima iwe shallow yo, yo. for this one. Yes. You put Una, this one. Inaweka huko ndani inakaa huko ndani mm-hmm. and then the pipe gets the water out. So shida ya wakulima ni kutaka kuihamisha. Anataka kuhamisha sana, atoe kwa hii shamba ama apeleke pale, apeleke kwa different water source. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo hiyo handling huwa ina ina, ina, ina sumbua, especially the cabling and all that. Right. Um, the other thing is sometimes uh, right from the start these are technical products. Kwa hivyo you need to have a a proper, you know, a technician doing the installation mm-hmm. to ensure it is installed properly mm-hmm. and it is also advisable as the installation is done do it to kiwa na mkulima hapo so that you can explain to them mm-hmm. how to operate the system and the basic maintenance mm-hmm. uh, something else that farmers should look out for mm-hmm. is at least work with someone who will be able to give you a warranty mm-hmm. and after sale support mm-hmm. uh, akiku guarantee akikupatia warranty you know that within that period mm-hmm. if there is a problem mm-hmm. then you can they, you can go back to them to the supplier mm-hmm. and they can have it fixed All right let's talk about the cost implications mm-hmm. uyu mkulima kwa na 2 acres of land sasa anataka kufanya hii investment All right yeah. it's amgarimu kama pesa ngapi a uh, system kama hii mm. um nitaongelea mbili kuna wenye iko na battery kwa hivyo advantage yenye iko na battery ni ina store energy anaweza tumia hata usiku kutumia kwa mataa na anaweza fanya pumping asubuhi na mapema and late in the evening mm-hmm. uh, so that system will cost about 110000 and that's mm-hmm. the cost of the pump with mm-hmm. the cable with the battery and with the solar panel Oh so kama hii e, chip hii iko na battery iko na battery talking about yes so for this mm. which i can use in my 2 acre farm to do my irrigation Deo. it can cost me 110000 yes All right Deo. na ule ambaye atumii ambaye iko na battery i believe it's that one yes uh-huh. kuna ndogo ambayo haina battery hiyo mm. pia ikiwa complete ikiwa the pump ikiwa na kebo yake mm-hmm. ikiwa na sola yake mm. na ikiwa pia na pipe mm. pipe kama hii mm. uh, hiyo itakuwa 65000 right. Kenya shillings right. cash mm. na kuna nyingine kubwa kidogo itampatia maji zaidi mm-hmm. hiyo ni ya 96000 Kenya right. shillings na ule mwenye ako na sasa above 2 acres of land they can still get technology that can support that they can still get that technology it is still available in the market uh, they can get it they just need to have proper sizing ujue unahitaji maji kiasi kiwango gani Mm-hmm. in a day ndio ufanye sizing ya system ambayo itatosha mm-hmm. na pia ni muhimu mm-hmm. wakati anafanya hivyo mm-hmm. you need to factor in the water source right. because you also don't want to put in a very big pump mm-hmm. that will abstract mm-hmm. tatoa maji mingi zaidi mm-hmm. ibaki imekauka right so talk to us about the placement of this solar panels mkulima anaweza enda inunue alafu mahali ya place mm-hmm. it's not the correct place where if, i mean see necessarily ataiweka lakini mm-hmm. whoever will be there for Deo. the placement yeah. how should we place where should we place our solar panels which is supposed to take that sun radiation and convert it into energy to iweke agenda to pate maximum results kwa shamba kweli mm. um, so 
uh, the whole system, mm. uh, the first thing, if it's a submersible pump, it needs to be installed inside the water source. Right. That's the pump. Yes, that's the pump. I love for the pipe in a tower margin. The solar panel should be mounted preferably on the roof. Right. Especially if, if the water source, mm. let's say it's a it's a hand ag well, mm. nikisima mm. ambayo iko karibu na nyumbani, mm -hmm. solar panel ina mountiwa, inawekwa juu ya the roof, mm -hmm. mounted there permanently mm -hmm. na mahali ambapo hapana shading. Mm -hmm. Kusikwe na miti karibu mm -hmm. ndio ipate maximum sun rays during the day. Right. Um kama kama the water source iko mbali, the alternative um mkulima anaweza kujenga stand so yani stand ya ku mm -hmm. ya kuwekelea the solar panel permanently mm -hmm. lakini pia kuna option nyingine ambayo anaweza tumia a portable solar panel right so, so portable anakunja anabeba anapeleka kwa store vizuri oh this is a portable one this is portable yes. good stuff lakini at the end of the day lazima ikuwe mali rays kama uko kwa roof for it to be able to attract solar vizuri Kwen. all right thank you so very much Jackie for that and also helping us understand some of the common mistakes that our farmers do make in the farm in itafanya your solar powered water pump iache kufanya kazi to see hamishe hamishe pia maji isikue chafu sana na tuhakikishe tunanunua kutoka mahali at least unapata warranty unapata warranty good stuff all right so we are taking another break right now but when we come back we want to see how easy are these machines for the farmers to use? Kwa sababu sa zingino kiambia mkulima mambo ya machine, kama ni kitu technical sana, atachana na asindo. So we'll want to see how to put it together and finally we make some animal feeds. And also, the party just got bigger. We do have Tracy. Hi Tracy, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good to see you. You look lovely. Good to see you, thank you. Great. So Tracy will be talking to us about another way that you can use solar energy. Tomorrow now power water pumps, hapa tukona a solar powered meal, tukona biogas. She's coming in with something totally different. You get to find out what that is after this break. <laughs> 